how to add a custom domain on ProtonMail. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can add your very own custom domain on ProtonMail. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create an account on ProtonMail and we want to make sure that we have a domain available to us. So to get a domain, you can either go to godaddy.com or Namecheap or other websites. So here we are at godaddy.com. Here we can go ahead and get ourselves a domain. So we can go ahead and just type the domain over here and go ahead and search for it. And also we can find a domain on Namecheap. I prefer Namecheap because it's a little bit cheaper as the name suggests. So over here, if you click on email, you can also get email hosting over there as well. Also, if you click on email, you can also get email hosting and business emails as well. So, so now we'll just go back to ProtonMail and we'll create an account over here. So we just simply click on create free account. It is free, but there is a pricing plan, which we will get into later. So for now, I think we're going to stick with the free plan. As you can see, there is an error, but we can always create a free plan by clicking on this button. So let's go ahead and create a free plan. It's loading up right here. Now to create an account, you can either just simply add your username, password and repeat your password and you are good to go. So I'll just go ahead and type in my username and now we'll just enter in our password and repeat it and then click the create account button. And then we'll select the free account. There is a mail plus, which is four euros per month. But currently we're going to go with the free plan and we'll go ahead and take a look at the other pricings later on. So we're going to click on continue for free. And over here we have a special offer. We can get mail plus just for one euro so we can get the deal. But currently we'll stick to the free plan. And here we have the verification option. So here, let me just go ahead and verify it. And there we go. It is now good to go. And our account has now been created. So over here we have our display name. Here we have our display name and then we'll click on continue. And then we just enter in our phone number. And once you've set up your recovery method, we are good to go. So now it's loading up our mail and we are good to go. So here we go. Our account is done. This is going to be a theme. So I'm just simply going to pick a theme right here. I'm going to pick this one. It looks pretty cool. And now we can either go ahead and set up our Google account so that we can go ahead and import all of our mail right here. So if you want, you can go ahead and do this, but you can skip this as well. And also you can go ahead and set up auto forwarding from your Gmail. So whenever you receive a email into your Gmail, it will automatically forward over here into Proton. Uh, if you want, you can change account logins over here to Proton address. And also you can get the email application right here. So right here, we are good to go. And this is how it would look like. So right here, we have a bunch of different options. Very simple, like any other email address. You have your main inbox right here. And all over here, you have your other options, such as uh, your drafts, sent, archives, spam, trash, and all mails. Now, if you see right here at the top right corner, you will see you have some options. So what we can do is we can click on this cob wheel or settings option. And over here, we have a bunch of different options, standard options such as themes and all of that. Uh, if we click on all settings, it'll take us to all settings account where our account is going to be located. So right here we have some payment methods and all of that. But what we want to do is we want to add our own custom domain. So to do that, if we come over here onto the left hand side, you will see you have account and you have Proton Mail. Underneath Proton Mail, if you see you have the domain names right here at the bottom. If you click on it, you will see you have your domain names right here. And to connect your domain name to, or, you know, to your Proton email, you have to upgrade your account. So over here, as you can see, included with Mail Plus, Proton Unlimited and all of that and catch all addresses. So to get this, you have to upgrade your plan. So if we click on upgrade, we can go ahead and see the plans right here. So there's the one month plan, the 12 month and the 24 month. And over here, this is for individuals. This is for family and this is for business. So there's quite a lot of plan to go around. But for now, I think we should go ahead and continue with the 499 option. So if we click on select Proton Mail over here, we'll buy this account. And once you have successfully updated, we are good to go. Now we can go ahead and add our domain name so as you can see now i have the more premium plan so if i go ahead and click on settings and go to all settings and over here if i go to domain section right here i can go ahead and add the domain right here so to add the domain just simply click on add domain here you will have your domain name uh you will have to verify it address it dmx spfk dkim or dmark 
you have to do all of the verification and you should be good to go. So you just enter your domain name right here, click on next, add in the password to authenticate it, and then you verify it. Now, there are a couple of ways to verify it. So over here, please add the following TXT record over here, right? If you want some useful tips, you can go ahead and check it out. So to do that, this is the data right here. We have to add it. And to add it, make sure you copy this uh, value right here. So go to your host provider or domain provider, wherever you've bought it from. For this example, since I've bought my domain on godaddy.com, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and go to the domain section right here, right? Or you can just simply find your domains underneath your domain section and underneath your products, right? When you log in, you'll find it right here. So let's go ahead and click on manage the domain and it's going to open up right here. So go to domain. Here we have it. And here we want to click on manage DNS, or you can just simply go ahead and click on domain settings. And from there you can manage the DNS settings. So here you have the DNS records right here, click on DNS, or you click on DNS over here on the left-hand side. Uh, once you do that, wait for it to load up here, you can add the new record. So click on add new record here, choose the type since this is a TXT type, right? Come back over here. You can see this, is the TXT type, this is the host name. And over here is the value data slash point to. So now we just simply add in our at and add our string. And over here, we just leave it for one hour, two hour, whatever you want, uh, depends on you. And then you just simply click on save. And as you can see, success, your DNS record has been added. You can find the DNS right here at the bottom. Uh, you can see I have a bunch of different other ones as well. So now once we've added that, we just simply click on the next to verify it. Verification did not success. Uh, this might take a couple of while to go ahead and, you know, try it since it says right here, try again in an hour. But yeah, once that's done, uh, you just, you verified it. You can just simply go ahead and select the addresses and you should be good to go. Let me try it again. Uh, let me go ahead and delete all of these records and maybe try it again. So let's go ahead and add another one, right? So let's go ahead and add TXT again. We'll leave it at add and then we'll add the value string. Now here we change this to a custom one. So seconds will just say maybe 20 seconds. Okay, 600 seconds. We'll go with 600 seconds and then just simply click on save. Now, if you don't know what TTL means, it just means that how many times uh, you can go ahead and refresh it. So if you come over here, you can see the amount of time that DNS server will wait before refreshing the record. So keep that in mind. So make it as short as possible. First things first, we're going to click on save. And once that's done, we should be good to go. So it's updating and there we go. We are good to go. It's now added. And we should be good to go if we click on next uh try again in an hour so yeah we have to wait again but once it's done we should be good to go and once it's done uh you will see right here that it is good to go it'll say verified address is added and all of that and then you can just simply go ahead and connect it to your main account uh, make sure to don't delete this otherwise you can't go ahead and do it make sure to leave the txt or the verification code in there so this is how you do it this is how you add your custom domains and then you can just simply go ahead and set up your domain with your email address and you should be good to go so very simple this is how you do it this is how you add domain or add a custom domain into proton email so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notification and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye